top of the good morning to you, everybody. How are you today? Alrighty, today I'm going to do a full face of Rimmel. Alright, so I'm going to start off with the Rimmel Lasting Finish. It's got SPF 20 in it, skin perfecting, full coverage. Foundation. Sounds good to moi. Sounds good to moi. I'm going to come in with my Kabuki brush by Raw today. Raw. <laughs> As you can see, my amazing eyebrow lamination done again yesterday, thanks to Golden Glow. She's amazing. Weather. So I'm just going to come in with the Rimmel. Match Perfection Concealer in the colour O10 Porcelain. But what I'm going to I need another Red Bull this morning. I mean, it's just the heat. It's very, very hot. 34 degrees, I think, today. Coming back in with my beauty sponge. Voila! Beautiful. It's actually very lightweight. You don't even feel like you're wearing any makeup right now for both the foundation and the concealer, so just covers those under eye darkness. Alrighty. So I'm just going to come in with the Rimmel Strobing Highlighting Illuminator. So only the tiniest bit. You can add this into your foundation if you want to put it all over glow. Very pretty. It's quite nice because it looks like it comes from within anyway, so I like it. Very nice, very nice. Gotta come in with my Rimmel Duro stick. Come on now. I love this stuff. I love it. And I haven't powdered anywhere else, so this is just going to come underneath that glowiness. Down the nose. Don't get the double chin. <laughs> Pretty much how it goes. Got my beauty blender. goes so well with the, the insta strobing glow that's wow that's awesome i like it i like that a lot i like it i like it i'm in love with that strobing cream how nice is that huh yeah yeah I say that all the time, but I do, I do. Alrighty, now we're going to come back with our Rimmel 022 Sun Bronzer. Just slightly over the top of that contour. That's looking nice. It's looking very nice. I'm come in with my Flower Beauty brush. Love this brush and just dab that out a little bit. Next up is okay. Now I could have gone two ways with the blush because I have the maxi blush in the color 006 Exposed. I actually really love this, but I do have the Rimmel blush palette. I, it says Farda Jules. I think it's French. Me, French. However, it's got this gorgeous shimmery color right here, which I might use as a blush. My little elf blush. And I'm hoping that because I've got the glow on there already, if I put a little bit of this blush that's got the glitter in it, suffice for the blush of the day. Let's have a little look-see. Yeah, I think that looks cute. Give 
already got the glow coming up the side. And we can come into the one that I dropped again or something. Oh my goodness. I've been dropping palettes left, right, and centre lately. So, this is the Kate number four, I'm pretty sure it is, highlighting palette from Rimmel. This has always been a fave, and you can see now I've dented it everywhere. I just changed brushes, so I'm just going to come in with this highlighter just on the tip of the brush, come down the centre of the nose. I go a little bit on my finger. Stick it in the center. Alright, so I'm just going to come in and put my lipstick on first. I don't have a Rimmel lip pencil, so I'm just going to come in with this two step lipstick by Rimmel 16 hour. What's the color? And the colour? Dare to be pink. Woohoo! That maps me down to a T. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna come in with this. It's got an awesome little dough put on it. It goes on very glossy, but it does dry down, and then you go to the other step on the other side, which gives it a bit of a gloss, but it's it's uh, kiss proof. That should go. So while that's happening, I'm going to go back to an old, I wouldn't say it's a hack, but an old step that I used to do in my younger years, and that was to use cotton buds to apply my eyeshadow. So I would wet it, just tight, slightly wet it or dampen the cotton bud and apply the eyeshadow instead of using a brush. So I'm just going to go back and have a look and see how that goes. So that lipstick is drying down already. Actually I might stop and apply the gloss because it's quite tacky. Yeah. It's lovely, it stays on all day. And then you just apply this. It actually smells nice too actually. Very nice. Into the bottom. Alrighty. Back to the eyeshadow. So, so I'm just going to come in with this colour here. So I have a wet or a dampened cotton bud as such. And watch this. What it does is it dries and it won't move. So if ever you're stuck anywhere, you don't have your brushes, and you do have a cotton bud or a cotton tip, it's actually quite cooling as it goes on as well because it's wet. There's an old saying, keep it simple stupid, but I apply that to keep it simple sherry. <laughs> and it's, this is simple and it works. And I'm going to come in with this beautiful, I think it's like a lilac purple colour here. So I'm actually just going to come in with the white, the first colour, in the middle of the eye. what's called a spotlight, or a halo eye, spotlight or a halo eye. Right, we'll probably put a wing on this today. Yeah, so that palette was the Magnifies Eyes Spice Edition too, guys, by the way. Sorry about that. That purple looks brown, but it's not. It's actually purple. It actually matches some of the colours in my dress today. Okay, I don't have a Rimmel eyeliner. Uh, so I'm going to use the Flower, Flower Beauty one. It's really nice. It's one of my faves at the moment. And I don't have eyelashes. So I'm going to use TJM Cosmetics. And they are in the name of Saint. 
Aren't they cute? Uh -huh. That's me, Saint. I'll hop off camera, put on my Flower Beauty eyeliner and uh, lashes, and I'll meet you back here in a second. Hey guys, the Flower Beauty wing is on. Now, I thought I might come back in and show you the Rimmel Wonderful Extreme Black Mascara. It's got argan on in it, so put a little bit of that on it, put our lashes on, and we are done. A little bit of Rimmel spray, setting spray. Voila. It's not a bad mascara, it's just not my fave. Just because the applicator is too big. Alrighty, I'm gonna apply a little Saint eyelashes. I'm pretty sure I've got to trim these down. So I've just taken a clump off the end of that, just sitting it there. It looks about right to me. And I'm just about to apply that uh, hashtag InstaFix and Go. Setting spray, two in one primer and setting spray. So you can use it prior as well. Give this a little bit of spray. So while I'm just waiting for those eyelashes to dry, this is something else that has really been good for my skin. I've been doing it now for about three months. Hubby's idea actually, and it has worked really, really well. So I've been taking this uh, collagen boost. So it's just like a uh, Barocca. So one of each, so a vitamin C and a collagen. And my skin has just been, not just my skin, but my energy levels have been a lot better. Let's get these lashes on. Voila. Oh, they're pretty. Saint, hey? That's me. <laughs> yeah, TJM Cosmetics. Luxury lashes. Oh, I like it. I like it. Look at that. I like them. I like them. I like them. I'm actually just going to come back in to the Rimmel palette. And just up that spotlight a little bit to the top there. So you pretty much only see it when my eyes are down anyway. <laughs> My lashes are so big, so. Lipstick is awesome. So that'll be stay on all day, 16 hour lipstick. That's the finished look for the day. Very pretty. All right, thank you as always for tuning in. These are all absolute legends. Please take care of you and I'll catch us again soon. Mwah.